Hi, I'm Dr. Rai Pudi and uh, I'm from uh, Gastro Office and we see a lot of patients who come in for colonoscopy. It takes like approximately a half an hour and people are usually sedated for the procedure. So you'll be put to sleep, either we can use a conscious sedation which is like a lighter form of sedation which most people don't remember anything during the procedure after or a deeper kind of sedation which is propofol and that is like deep sleep. So we could use either modalities, you're put to sleep. We pass a scope like that thick and it goes right here. This is the anus, goes all the way into the rectum and then to the sigmoid colon, then descending colon. Then we pass the splenic flexure and this is called the transverse colon and we go through it and then pass the hepatic flexure then go through the ascending colon and reach the something called cecum and this is the appendix and you can see the appendiceal orifice uh, from inside and that marks the cecum and you could also see this valve which is called the ileocecal valve from inside and that is also visible when you're in the cecum so what do we look for when we do this colonoscopy as you can see in the picture, we can look for these polyps. Polyps are tissue that can turn into cancer. Now, how does cancer look like? This is cancer. This is how it looks like. And these are polyps. Polyps can turn into cancer, so you remove them during the procedure. And then you can look for these. These are diverticuli. You can see these pouches in the colon, and they can trap your stool and can get infected at times or rarely cause bleeding too so these are diverticuli and these are hemorrhoids you see it in the bottom and there are internal hemorrhoids external hemorrhoids so overall uh, it's a very good procedure because you can remove these polyps before they can turn into cancer and we can also do it for other reasons uh, which is when there's bleeding happening or if there's pain in the lower belly or if they're diseases like Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, but the most common form of colonoscopy that we do is for uh, screening, which is to look for these polyps, um, which could turn into cancer.